We made the DS2 Sonic Anemometer because we couldn't find an existing anemometer that fit our customers' needs. Don't get me wrong, the world is full of anemometers, but our customers wanted and needed an anemometer that was accurate, even at low wind speeds. They wanted something tough that wouldn't need any calibration and would only require a minimum amount of maintenance. They wanted it to run remotely off of the five AA batteries in their existing data loggers. They wanted us to remember that this was just one measurement in a big data set, so the price had to be reasonable. When we looked around, the available options were power hogs. They used 100 to 1,000 times too much power and cost considerably more than our customers wanted to pay. So we built the DS2 Sonic Anemometer. We didn't spend a lot of money making it measure hurricane force winds. We figured by the time that wind speeds were that high, the canopy would be destroyed anyway. One of the great things about the DS2 Sonic Anemometer is that it's made without any moving parts, which means there's nothing to break. And because it makes measurements using first principles, it doesn't ever need to be recalibrated. The anemometer uses very little power. In fact, it won't significantly affect battery life in the EM50 series data loggers. And it costs about half the price of the entry-level Sonic anemometers currently on the market. The DS2 isn't a replacement for the high-priced anemometers that meteorologists use. It is a purpose-built sensor for our customers, the environmental and agricultural researchers. 